Hey friends, welcome back. It's Friday again at the bike shop. And so we're, today we're gonna start off with a little bit of a PSA about the new Specialized Globe Hall. The Globe Halls are an amazing bike and we've had a lot of fun using them in the store, but they've had a little bit of an issue in their production. Basically the uh, diagnosis from Specialized is that one of their factories used the wrong kind of grease for a lot of their uh, terminals or connectors or something of that sort. And because of that, things are shutting down without, um, well, them supposed to. I am known for sometimes doing really dumb things. Uh, they call it pulling a Jeremy. I do want to talk about something, and I do want the whole industry to change it. This is a goo. When you're short on sugar, this is a great thing to put in your mouth. This is chamois butter. Why should these two look and be similar form factor and sizes? Well, here's what I'll tell you you should do and not do. Don't put them both in your jersey pocket. Because if you're deciding that you're really having a hard climb, you're really, really tired, and you're gonna reach back, you normally bite this open, squirt it in your mouth, never throw it on the ground, put it back in your jersey, and get chocolate everywhere. This should look nothing like that. Because when you're on a hard ride and a hard climb and you're really tired, and you're like, I want something to eat, and you rip it off, you're gonna be quite surprised if you were to squirt this in your mouth. Chamois butter is very different consistency, and I think you could tell that is not something you really want to eat. No. <laughs> <laughs> Does it taste like coconut? No. And it's all over me too. It's all over my pants. I'm gonna have to explain why I have white creamy stuff all over my pants. So, here's what I would say guys. Stop putting them in similar packets. But do carry this with you because if you're on a super long century ride or something like that, sometimes when you're sweating a lot, it's always nice to reapply halfway through your century. But for, uh, don't put them in similar packages! <laughs> I'm Brian Lewis, I'm the marketing director for Camber. I'm here at Crank Revolution, and uh, we just brought in, the, hot off the press, our new trail signs for Paul Douglas. Nice solid metal, printed right on right on the metal. These will be going up in the next week or two, so it'll be a big improvement to the trail. Help people find their way around. You know, yeah. you laugh, but man, I know. I, I, I know, we, 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 we have that issue on, on, the, uh, on the BBC sign on Cuba. It has paintball parts all over it. Uh, it must yeah, be I was probably, probably the wheeling guys. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's been a very long Saturday. Not in the sense of craziness or busy. Well, it has been busy, actually. What it is, though, is every single thing that came in did not work out the way it should. No. And so we were busy because, what was it? started off with... A dropper cable that wouldn't work. Then Thanks, it... Canyon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but no, in this particular case, that's a problem with consumer direct bikes. Uh, yeah, they can be cool, you can find good stuff, but if you assemble it yourself, you might have some problems. In this case, the dropper cable is completely mangled, giving inconsistencies, and yeah, it was just fun. And routing housing internally on those is not fun. No, and see, once you know how to do it, the thing is, once you know how to do it, you can do it, but dropper internal housing stuff isn't really fun, which is why I made Alec do it. Yep. Hey, TC. Hey, Al. Hey, everybody. Uh, TC here. And uh, today is a cold, nasty fall, winter slowing down of our season. And uh, I've had a few people already reach out to me who have already crashed this, this fall season. So as those leaves drop, slow down. That's the best advice that I can give you. Slow down, take it in, look around. Because yeah, with those leaves down, both on the road, on the mountain paths, on the pavement, on everything, uh, you can't see what's under them. There's a lot of danger, there's a lot of hazards that are hidden by that leaf coverage. And uh, leaves are slippery, especially on pavement. So road bikes cornering on leaves uh, is a very dangerous thing. So take it a little bit easier, take it slow, slow down a little bit, uh, give you better control, better consistency. And uh, yeah, you'll have a more fun, less painful season ahead of you. Thanks. Hey, Jeremy. Yes? This this little thing sitting right behind me. Yeah. These aero bars, oh. or aero handlebars, I guess. I want them. Aero? aero. Why do you want aero. them? Well, because they're aero. Well, yeah, but what's in the box? Well, what's in the box? Do you know what movie that's from? Comment down below in the comments, we'll mail you a water bottle. Oh. What's in the box, Alec? That's gorgeous. Revolve repeat. Uh, Aero bars. And, and it even comes with bubble wrap. You didn't do this as a oh. child and pop every little one? I thought you were making a joke well, about the crash. 1% a discount. If I keep doing it, it's going to be 2%. All right. <laughs> You're obsessed with these things. I am. 
Hello. I mean, if I had an SL7 instead of the SL6, I totally would get one of these, but... Oh, look at that. that it, is, it is it's, it's wicked a, light, actually. Look at that. I mean, it's got this nice textured, like, All right. top surface as well, and then... Break out the totally, it's not a drug scale. How much does it weigh? Please don't roll over. I think it's rolling over. Okay, specialized, start designing your bars so they can be weighed, okay? Yeah. But it's okay though, it doesn't need to be light because arrow is everything. I have an eye, nah. We could've used one of the handlebar holders. Oh, we could've why, teared why, it out. Why don't we just weigh the box? Back in the box. 205.7 grams, is that correct? It looks to be so. So 205.8 before I pop the bubble wrap. That's how science works. But, I mean, kind of point being, how much more arrow gains can you get from that, though? Well, the thing is, though, it's remarkably light. Yeah, I, I mean, mean... it's it's really laughably light. Yeah, it's like, how many pieces of chicken nuggets would I have to sacrifice to be that much lighter, you know? I could just spend, what is it, 400 bucks on this? It, are you creating it, a new weight and measurement system? Well, how yeah. much is that bar weigh? I mean... Four and a half chicken nuggets. Yeah, we're Americans. We use everything but the metric system. Honestly, at 205 grams, I really don't know what that means. It's half a pound. It's one fourth of an Athos frame. The Athos frame, like 800 grams? No, it's a, I think it's in the 600 class. Ah, well then never mind. Don't listen to us. <laughs> Wait, no, do listen to us. We're yeah. professionals. Aha! We need some music behind this. Na, 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 I'm wiggling the camera because you don't have eyebrows. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to hide under the desk until you go away. <laughs> Things not to say to your boss for 500 hours. <laughs> Well friends, welcome back to present day. It feels like we've just jumped through every other day of the week in this vlog, but here we are back at it again on Friday evening. So obviously with us going into full swing of the off season, it's been pretty quiet. And so we are doing our best to bring you more content on the online side. Hope you enjoyed our little segments and we'll see you again next week. Peace out. It's been a really long day today, hasn't it? A little bit. Yeah, I mean, lots of work, lots of hard work. Are you insinuating I don't work hard? No, no, I'm just wondering if you'd like a snack. Oh, thanks, buddy. I'm not gonna eat two of them one day. <laughs> Damn it.